Welcome back to Sporting Mentality. I'm your host, Tanner, and today we are going to be looking at 30 players that can be traded before the February deadline. So, obviously, we've heard about uh, potential trades, and number 30 is Chandler Parsons. He has a large contract, Detroit Pistons, because um, they'd give him free up salary cap for the uh, future because they're a rebuilding team. They're not going to win anytime soon. Next up, Dwayne Dedman again. A salary cap dump for the uh, Kings. Memphis Grizzlies, these guys don't really matter. All these guys have uh, expiring contracts, so that's why they're uh, looking to be dealt. Now this one, Dennis Smith Jr. to the Timberwolves makes a lot of sense because the Timberwolves, Timberwolves just got rid of uh, Jeff Teague and uh, Dennis Smith hasn't been getting the right opportunity at the New York, so if he went to Minnesota, I feel like he'd re he could revive his career. Kent Bazemore, obviously he already got traded. I think this is before uh, the Kent Bazemore and Trevor Ariza trade, just a week or two ago. The Jay Crowder, he's a 3 and D guy, best destination Dallas, Dallas Mavericks. He, his best destination, in my opinion, is any contender, and Dallas Mavericks are one of the contenders. Uh, and either Los Angeles team, I feel like Jay Crowder would be good at. So uh, yeah, he's a 3 and D guy, great, great defender, good three point shooter. Alec Burks now. Alec Burks is an alright player, but he's on the Warriors, and that, that's what scares me because the Warriors don't really have that many uh, good players playing for him right now because Curry and Thompson are out. So I feel like that's why he's doing pretty good, but Philadelphia Sixers, that ain't bad. Another contender. Same with Davis Bertrands. Uh, he's on a bad team. That's why he's thriving, but uh, I don't know how he would uh, he would be doing on the Los Angeles Lakers. He could fit in maybe help him uh, with Danny Green's struggles with three, on the three-point line. He's a good three-point shooter. Uh, I could see a Kyle Kuzma, D Davis Burton, Burton's uh, trade. That could potentially happen. Now, Derek Favors, Dal Dallas Mavericks. Um, yeah, this makes sense because the Mavericks, uh, Dwight Powell just got hurt, so Derek Favors would be a perfect replacement for him. As uh, they did pick up Willie Collie Stein, but you know, Willie Collie Stein isn't the best center uh, to pick up. And here we go. Getting to the big big guys. So, Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris has been having a career season 18 points a game, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. Not bad. Um, best destination, Houston Rockets. Yes, I've seen this a thousand times. Uh, for him to go to Houston Rockets, I love this. I feel like he'd fit in great with James Harden. James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Um, I just feel like uh, with his shooting and uh, in defense, that would fit in perfect with their play style, and I think they could uh, he could help them contend for a title. Next up, Jeff Teague. He already got traded to the Hawks. Again, I think this is before the last two trades happened a week or two ago. Now, Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon has struggled this season. He hasn't been that good. Um, he just... They, I, I personally thought he was gonna be. You know, he had potential to be an all-star this season, but he's been a CSS ma major disappointment so far this season, which he has been. So, uh, and yes, I've seen him go to uh, think, uh, website say San Antonio Spurs best destination because uh, he'd fit in great with Greg Popovich. But then again, I think Demar Derozan for Aaron Gordon and uh, maybe a few. Uh, Another player with Aaron Gordon or picks for DeMar DeRozan would be a good trade for the Magic to make and for the San Antonio Spurs to make because Aaron Gordon's a young asset. will help him rebuild. Now, Tristan Thompson. I really don't think he should leave uh, Cleveland. He's been there his whole career. There's really no reason to leave. He's having a career year. 13 points per game, 10 rebounds, 2 assists. Five Cavaliers are still building, rebuilding, but uh, he's only 28, so... The Los Angeles Clippers, yeah, depends what the uh, Clippers are willing to give up. So now Andre Iguodala, he is having his this year, which probably will be one of his last years in the NBA because he's already 35, wasted because he's just sitting out on the Memphis Grizzlies because he doesn't want to play for them, which doesn't make sense to me because the Memphis Grizzlies are looking good with uh, John Moran, Jan Jackson Jr., and all those young, talented players. But uh, I think any contender, Andre Iguodala, Sam Dre Crowder, all those 3 and D guys, any contender that are contending for a title would be perfect for Andre Iguodala to go to. 
Same with JJ Redick. JJ Redick would be good on any contender team. And uh, New Orleans is not a contending team. I don't care if they got Zion back. He has Zion's, you know, good here and there, but he is no LeBron, so at least yet he isn't. Steven Adams, yeah, Boston Celtics have heard this a lot. Uh, I see, I could see them potentially giving up Jalen Brown or someone like that for him uh, because they desperately need a center. I know they have Daniel Tice, but Daniel Tice can't play offense. He's a good defender, but he can't uh, really shoot the paint. So, yeah, Steven Adams would fit good there. Now, Bogdan Bogdanovic. I personally think he should go to the Lakers. There's been a lot of talk for Kyle Kuzma for Bogdan. It doesn't really make sense for the Kings, but for the Lakers, that'd be perfect because uh, Danny Green hasn't been really showing up this year. I mean, he's off and on, but I know he's a playoff guy. And uh, Bogdan is a consistent shooter, and uh, he's going to be a free agent anyway, so I don't know why the Kings wouldn't accept the trade from the Lakers, but because uh, he's probably going to walk away. But yeah, I think he should go to the Lakers. I think that'd make a lot of sense for him. Hassan Whiteside, best destination, Cleveland Cavaliers. Yeah, this would be the trade where Hassan Whiteside would be a salary dump for Portland, and they would get Kevin Love. And I mean, a salary dump for Cleveland because he has an expiring contract. So he would be traded for Kevin Love. Kevin Love goes to a contender in Portland. Well, they would be if they got Love, in my opinion. So yeah, I've, I've seen that uh, trade a lot. Now, Serge Ibaka. Serge is about 30 years old, so again, Boston Celtics, another center. Same case with Steven Adams. I feel like they'd have to give up about Jalen Brown for him. Uh, he's having an actual career year. 14 points. Julius Randle, Minnesota Timberwolves. Doesn't really make sense, in my opinion. They got uh, Cat. I don't think his play style really goes well with Cat, so I don't think that would work out too well. I think uh, Randall would go more on like uh, the Pistons. He'd, he'd look better on the Pistons. I know they're not a contender, but he's young. He could uh, be on the rebuilding team. Now, Danilo Gallinari, Portland Trailblazers. Okay, so he would be the uh, second option for if the Portland Trailblazers wanted another power forward. It'd be either him or Kevin Love, and obviously if I was the Trailblazers, I'd want Kevin Love because they're the same age, don't really make any difference, but uh, da uh, Gallo isn't near as good as Kevin Love, so really it's a matter of uh, who's easier to get in a trade. Montrez Harrell, I don't think he's leaving the Clippers anytime soon, so I don't I don't think we need to look at this. Goran Dragic. Goran Dragic is old, I think he's 34, and he needs to go to a contender. And he's already on one, so I don't know why they have him on this uh, list. I think Miami's a dark horse in the East. I think they uh, they're gonna, they have a really good chance to make a run for the title this year and next in the years to come. Drew Holiday, Miami Heat. Yeah, but if I was Drew, I'd stay on the Pelicans due to uh, uh, Zion, all those guys. I know he's like 30, but two years, the Pelicans are contender with all their young talent, in my opinion. Derek Rose, Los Angeles Lakers, he needs to go. Give up Kyle Kuzma, give up uh, Quinn Cook, Avery Bradley, and get Derek Rose. That's what the Lakers need. Give him punch, punch off the bench. He doesn't need to start. Make him move off the bench when LeBron's out, and he'll give an offensive punch that will make the Lakers uh, have a better chance of winning the championship. Blake Griffin, he got injured before this. Andre Drummond, Atlanta Hawks, we've all seen this. Um... The only thing, I don't know if the uh, Pistons would get much back. Maybe, uh, like, DeAndre Hunter and a few picks, or DeAndre Hunter and Kevin Herter and a few picks. It just depends what the Hawks are willing to give up for him. Be a good trade. Uh, Kevin Love. Yep, we already mentioned this with the uh, same situation as Gallo. Uh, the Portland Trailblazers won him, so. Uh, just a matter of... Uh, the Kitten Cavaliers, what they're willing to, uh, if they're willing to give Kevin Love up, and what the Trailblazers are willing to give up. So, DeMar DeRozan, Magic, yes, we've seen this. That's this would be the trade that I was talking about with Aaron Gordon for DeMar DeRozan. I think uh, the Magic would have to add in a pl another player or two, or maybe some picks. But uh, yeah, I, I think DeMar DeRozan could definitely be dealt before the trade deadline. And Chris Paul, Philadelphia 76ers. No, I don't think he should go there. I think he should go to the. Um, back to the Clippers 
if he's going anywhere and the Clippers would have to give up like Patrick Beverly and like Montrez Harrell or something for Chris Paul but it, it'd be worth it for Chris Paul I think he needs a championship if he gets a championship uh his Hall of Fame is his, he's already a Hall of Famer in my opinion but uh his Hall of Fame chances are like for sure if he wins a championship I, I would really want to uh really want to see Chris Paul win his first championship so uh yeah there you have it 30 possible NBA trades that will happen I'd say about realistically 25 possible trades because some of them are just uh, people are hurt or they already the trades already happened so yeah if you enjoyed make sure to like subscribe comment what trades you want your team to make and uh yeah make sure to like and subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out